Hello everybody, Vlad from Gun For Hire once again. Today we're gonna do a little tour of pistol red dots. Everything that you see up here is clear and safe. We've made sure of that. I'll go through all of them for all the safety guys out there, making sure that we're clear and safe. There are no cartridges here, no magazines even, all right? So a little tour of the red dot, just to see what we, so you guys can see what we have here at the shop. Let's start here with the Vortex. This is the Vortex Defender. So really cool dot, looks really good. This is the Defender ST, which is the standard version. This actually comes with a Picatinny rail. So windage and adjustments are side and top. Brightness configurations are on the side. Looks very well made. They put a um, sort of a rigid front here to make it um, durable, I guess, because a lot of times we strike these against barricades or they take a beating. The front of the optic or the red dot itself is, it takes a beating. So it has, um, I believe it's a 3MOA red dot. It um, has a top loading, which is nice top loading CR2032 battery. So Vortex has been around quite a bit. Um, they also do the Viper, the Venom. We also carry the Viper here, but that's the Defender, probably one of the newest, the newest model here. The Defender comes in a CCW version, which is, um, which is more for concealable carry for pistols. And um, I believe there's also an XL, which is a larger frame or larger window that you can use on different platforms, whether it be shotgun. You could use this one also, but um, shotgun or by co-witnessing on uh, long guns, etc. But that would be your Vortex Defender Series Red Dot. Next, we're going to talk about Loophold. Loophold has been around for quite a bit. They have the Delta Point Pro. So the Delta Point Pro has been out for quite a while now on pistols. Again, it's um, adjustments are to the right and to the top. This also has a top loading battery here in order for you to, uh, it also functions as an, an adjustment button. So some people don't like that because you kind of have to if it is on your firearm you have to adjust it by pressing and then you can't see so you kind of have to press and see press and see make your adjustments and see rather than the side which most of them now are going to side adjustments so this doesn't you will have to do it inside the actual window to make your adjustments it also sits kind of high so tough to co-witness at times but um, it's been around quite a bit. It has a st full steel shroud, so very durable, very rugged. I believe this is, uh, it has different MOA. So this happens to be a six MOA dot. Um, again, this is tried and true. Loophold makes really good, really good um, scopes, red dots, and optics. So this has been around quite a while and can take a beating. Really good dot. Next, let's talk a bit about the hollow sun. Hollow sun is something that I use quite a bit, as you can tell from the firearms that are in front of you. Hollow sun is definitely a big competitor in the game right now when it comes to pistol red dots. A lot of different options. So you have your 407s, your 507s, the Ks, the Cs. The Ks, I believe, are more compact. The Cs are for more full size. Um, they have the, five, the um, 508T. The 508T is a smaller, or should I say, yeah, smaller titanium open emitter. You have the 509T, which is a titanium closed emitter. All right, so let me explain the difference between an open emitter and a closed emitter. The open emitter red dots are basically a diode that are projected onto the glass. So your red dot is projected onto the glass, therefore that would be your sighting system. An open emitter is more prone to getting rain and dust, etc., in there, so that might get in the way. The closed emitter is just that, right? Closed. So 
the diode and everything that's happening in here is inside and it's enclosed. So there is less issues with environmental concerns like rain or dust or dirt, etc. So closed emitters are preferred by some just because it's a little bit better protected. So what I love about Holosun is there are so many different configurations. Um, the EPSs, now the EPS is the carry version, which is more, a lot more narrow for the smaller guns. These would be some of your options. They have a new configuration now, which is called the SCS, which is the um, solar charging site. So solar charging, they claim that you never have to change the battery on that. So when you never have to change the battery, that's a plus, right? Because it's totally solar charged and they basically would last forever, essentially, right? Um, again, there are a lot of different versions, so many different options that you could look for. Make sure that they mount properly on your firearms. So Holosun has different um, footprints for different firearms. So make sure that you pick the right one for yourself. If you look, this would be the newest version, which is the comp. The comp is, has a really wide window. So the differences in, in the configuration of the window or how big the window is, if you have a larger window, you're definitely going to be able to pick up that dot faster. So the larger windows, especially like the SRO, which I'll talk to about in a little bit, um, or the XL version of the Vortex, those would be more for competition because you can gain that red dot quickly and um and you don't have to fight with anything you don't have to squint you don't have to kind of look for you've seen people kind of try to get that dot sometimes because either uh it's not there the dot is too small or maybe they just haven't pra practiced correctly um you definitely need very good fundamentals to run a red dot correctly uh, again another example here of the 509T, which is a titanium, uh, large, this is the larger one. This would be the EPS. If you look, it's the smaller, narrower one. This is the larger full size model. I prefer the 509T because it is closed emitter because of those things, those environmental concerns that I tell you about, as well as it has a larger window. So I can get that to my dot a lot quicker. So a few more things about Holosun. I've been telling you about how there are so many options. So you can put just the dot, you can put the halo in the dot, you have a two MOA dot and a 65 MOA circle. So you can put them both together. You have your choices here, whether you want a nice crisp, crisp dot, whether you want the dot and the circle or just the circle. Um, I tend to not like too much going on in my window. So I like that crisp dot version, but that's just me. You, again, the best thing about Holosun is so many options. Also, it has a shake and wake. They were probably the ones that started this. So it's basically motion detected, detected. So it detects motion. So when I pick up the firearm, the dot automatically comes on. When I drop it or leave it, not drop, <laughs> or if I put it down, um, it'll stop after a couple minutes. It will shut itself off. So saves on the battery their battery life i mean some, some, something like fifty thousand hours uh especially those that are solar powered right because it has that solar assist so that's another option that you have some of them may this comp is not solar solar assist or fail safe i should say or they call it um those solar options are great because it keeps that battery going it is a backup it's a fail safe to your battery also, great thing about the Holosuns is they have a side battery. So as you can tell, some of them may have a top loading battery. Some of them, like the RMR we'll talk about soon, has a lower, you have to actually take the, the red dot off in order to change the battery. So the battery is underneath the component. This has a side tray. So that side tray is easy to take out, replace the battery, easy to come in. So you're not actually removing it from the firearm in order to change out the battery. One added thing about the SCS being the, one of the newer ones 
it has a very low profile. So this sits on your slide and more than likely without having to get higher or suppressor type mount sites, you'll be able to co-witness your irons to this SCS because it's such a low uh, mount. Really nice. Next, let's talk about the EOTech EFLEX. So, very nice. Something, uh, just a little extra about EOTech. EOTech has been around for a long time, and uh, especially with rifle, um, rifle red dots, they've been, uh, as well as optics in general, they've been a big player. The military uses EOTech, law enforcement uses EOTech, a lot of big um, protective agencies will use EOTech. So they've been tried and true, but this, they came a little later in the game in regards to pistol red dots. So this is their E-Flex. Very, EOTech has really good clear glass, right? So their dots are also nice and crisp. Um, very good looking, sturdy, rugged. Uh, I, I mean, I don't beat up on my stuff, but it doesn't have like a, like a steel shroud like the loophole does, but looks very rugged. Top loading battery, side adjustments, windage and elevation, top and, and right. I believe it comes in a, a six MOA or three MOA, 2032 battery made of aluminum. Even though they came in late, they have a really good product. EOTEX EFLEX. Last but definitely not least, we're going to talk about Trigicon. So Trigicon, from our shop here, we have the SRO. SRO, very good, and especially in the competitive world. When this first came out, it has a really large window. And although when I compare it to the Hollow Sun comp, you'll see that because some of them are square, some of them are circular, the square actually gives you a better, a bigger window. But the SRO, very, um, very easy to, to gain your, your, um, your dot. Again, top loading, 2032 battery, windage and elevation on the top and right. Um, adjustments in regards to brightness are left and right. Awesome, awesome red dot. Just one thing about this, if you notice when it sits on your slide, this may get in the way of ejection port and cause some ejection stovepipe type issues. So be careful if you're gonna go to this. Um, make sure that you have the space allotted for proper ejection of your casings. Trigicon's RMR. So the RMR is the daddy. This is the one that's probably been the most pressure tested um, over and over and over again. It's been around a long time, very durable, basically undestructible, this little thing. It, the, the little thing meaning that it's a smaller window for the most part, but this is kind of like what everybody grew up with, right? The Trigicon RMR. Uh, Trigicon's glass is really nice. The dot is nice and crisp, nice to pick it up. Uh, brightness adjustments are to the right and to the left. Windage and elevation, right and left also. The battery compartment is below the optic though. So you do have to remove this from your slide every time you're changing out the battery. For the most part, with the one that I have, uh, every time I've changed the battery, it's never lost zero. It just comes right back on. Again, use the proper torque specs from the manufacturer. Use blue Loctite. And plates should be proper configurable for your firearm. Mount these things correctly when you mount them on your dot. Uh, I have seen all types of different red dots fly off of firearms during classes. So you should want to make sure that they're mounted properly. So a lot, to a lot to choose from, a lot of different configurations, a lot of different options. These that I talked about today are all available in our shop. So come in, if you have any questions, the staff here is aces. 
aces, I tell you. So ask the questions, get what's right for you. Uh, remember, the right way to run a red dot takes training. So train with it also. So besides making sure that it's mounted properly, besides making sure that it has all the options that you're looking for, remember to train, train. Repetitive practice is what builds automatic permanence. So proper training and, and proper repetitive practice is what's going to get you to get really good uh, in the proper application of a pistol red dot. So you might be asking, what do I use mostly? So these are my guns. <laughs> so um, the RMR, like I said, Trijicon is the granddaddy. This is probably the most trusted, the most tried and true red dot. It's taken a beating. Love it. Right next to that though, they're all hollow suns. The price points are good in comparison to EOTech or Trijicon. The price point on hollow suns are good. There are so many options. If you look at what I have here, I have the EPS for my smaller guns. I have the 507 for my other ones. I have the 509T, which I said earlier, is probably one of my favorite because it's a, it's a closed emitter. And lately, if you've been to my classes, you've seen me run the Hollow Sun Comp. This comp, because of its wider window, I get that dot right away. So it comes right up into my line of vision and I'm able to get them. I, I'm able to keep it in the window so that I can get sequences of fire accurately as I shoot. So again, for me, Trijicon RMR or the Hollow Sun series. So as I mentioned, we have a wide variety of red dots for you to choose from. Hopefully I'll see you at our shops. Come in, take a look, touch them, see how they work, ask questions. That's why we're here. Hope this video helps you out and your choices. It gives you a glimpse of what we have and what they do and their sizes and the differences in them. Uh, again, this is very, very competitive. Um, these companies are always looking to make something better happen. Oh, by the way, I might have failed to mention, if you purchase a red dot from us, we will mount it for free. I mean, it doesn't include any special plates that you might need or for your footprint. And it doesn't include any kind of milling, but we'll mount it for free. That's a plus.